Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about another plot in the R language. It is called box plot. So what is box plot? First of all, let's see the formal definition and let's see that what information we'll get from the box plot. Then I'll be showing you some examples how we can plot the box plot in the R language. So what is box plot? It's a graph that give us good indication of how the values in the data are spread out and it help us in uh, displaying the five number summary of a set of a data. So what the five number summary includes? It include minimum value, first quartile, median value, third quartile and a maximum value. So we get five information in the box plot. So let's see it here, uh, how we can visualize that uh, plot. For that, we have the uh, inbuilt uh, function available, which is called box plot function. And the good part of the box plot function is that we don't have to install any package. It is inbuilt in R. So, so for this today's video, I'll be help. I'll be making use of the empty cars data set uh, to uh, visualize the uh, this box plot, right? So let's see it now. Uh, here I'm just calling the box plot function uh, and I want to plot the box plot for the MPG column of the empty cast data set which is inbuilt in R. Right? Let's see how box plot look like. So here I've just pressed enter and I got the box plot generated here in which I get five information. The minimum value at very uh, bottom down, you can see my cursor, the maximum value, the lower quartile, the upper quartile and we got a median value available. So we got five information in this case, right? This is the uh, advantage of having box plot that we get five information from the box plot. Now this box plot is not meaningful. Why? Because there's no title available. There's no X is available, right? Let's try to add some information to this existing box plot. For that, I'll be adding one, uh, uh, the title here, followed by one uh, Y label, X label and a color. Now let's do it. I'm just copy and pasting this and let's see how it will affect the existing box plot. So I've just pressed enter. Let's see now the what's the change we got. You can see it now the color has been changed and the Y label and X label got added here plus the title got added here. So this is the information now we are getting from the main Y lab, X lab and COL, right? Moving further. So uh, the box plot can also take in the formulas of the form y tilde x, where y is a numeric vector, which is grouped according to the value of x. So according to the value of x, y will change. So for that, we, uh, I'll be making use of the same empty cast data set in which we have a MPG column and cylinder column available. And we uh, would like to uh, see that how the MPG will change, how the mileage of the car will change based upon the cylinders means if we got two cylinder car, what will be the information? If we got three cylinder car, what will be the MPG or mileage? Let's see it now. For that, I'm comparing two columns of the empty cars data set and I'll representing with the help of box plot. Rest everything is same, no change at all. We got data equal to empty car. This is new thing only. Rest everything is same, same parameters we are using. Now here uh, we got now the mileage data, uh, data box plot, right? In which you can see based upon the cylinders, like we got our cars of cylinder four also, four cylinder car, we have six cylinder car, we have an eight cylinder car, in which we have now got the answers of the box plot individually. Means based upon the four cylinder car, this is the mileage information. Based upon the six cylinder car, this is the mileage information. Based upon the eight cylinder car, this is the mileage information. And you can see it one little circle here. This represents the outlier. It may be uh, some bigger value, which is outside of the range of this box plot. So this is how we can make use of uh, this one, right? I hope uh, the things are clear. Let's move it further. Now, last point is we would like to add the notch. Notch meaning is like uh, here you'll be finding that the uh, the plot will be a little bit narrowing down around the median. So we add a notch to a box plot to find out how the medians of different data groups match with each other. So in this case, everything remains same, but we are having this uh, uh, notch available, which is nothing but the narrowing down the things around the median. So let's do it here. We just we are just adding this uh, notch here. Rest everything is same. You can see the same uh, syntax, no change at all. So notch actually represent the uh, confidence interval of the median, which is more of the statistical topic. Uh, so let's add it here. Only one information we are adding the notch. Okay. So here I've already written that it help us in finding how the medians of different data groups match with each other. Right now, let's see what the change we uh, will have with the with notch parameter. We are uh, pressing it here. Okay. You can see it here. We got notches available. These are notch. Okay. You can see that the, 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 the box plot got narrowing down around the median, right? And I've already told you as per the statistical information, it represents the uh, confidence interval, right? Uh, of the median, right? They have got some formulas available. It's out of the scope. 
right so this is this marks the end of this video in which we have learned what is box plot what information we get from box plot and how to draw a box plot for the next rest of the information i'll be sharing in a next video thanks for watching guys